Hey everyone, welcome back to Sung's Garage. Now today we have a very special episode of Your Car, My Car. We discovered a Mustang car club all the way out in Wuhan, China, where two guys named Chris and David share their experiences about the COVID-19 outbreak there and show us some of their awesome cars, which aren't Mustangs. And they answer some hard questions about people calling this the Chinese virus. Now we split this video into three parts. I hope you can check them all out. Hope you enjoy. All right, be good. So, hey guys, I really want to thank you for joining Sung's Garage to share your passion. I think what we would love to, you know, convey with this, this, uh, you know, this Zoom or this internet gathering, your car, my car, car meet is, even though we're far apart, our cultures are somewhat different. There is a passion and a love affair for cars that unite us, that bring us something very much in common. So I want to get right into it. You guys are in Wuhan, China, um, and we'll talk about all that stuff later. But let's get to it is that you guys are huge Mustang lovers. Is that how you guys met? So tell me about this Mustang club that you guys are a part of. Chris is at the club right now. At the moment. Oh, you are. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you're in Wuhan, Chris. Yeah. Tell me. Tell us yeah. where, where you are. Uh, right now, uh, I'm in. Uh, we do have a body shop. The owner of the body shop created a group, and we're getting all the Mustang owners in Wuhan together. Nice. So we created a group. Nice. How many Mustang yeah. owners are in Wuhan? I think. Uh, in the group, maybe there is 400. Uh, wow, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a pretty nifty amount, man. That's... So do they range from classic Mustangs to the newer ones, or do they stick with a certain type of uh, model or years? Uh, they stick with the newer one, which is the one to 2015, because that's the one... Uh, they started to import massively. I see. Do you guys have classic Mustangs like 67 Fastbacks in China available? Uh, no, no, that's that's rare. But so what? how did you guys get into Mustangs? You know what is interesting that we have something in common is that we do love Mustangs, but we have another thing in common, the three of us, is that we are... Our former Mustang owners, I don't own a Mustang anymore. I just sold it about six months ago. Same here. And, either, and you guys too, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The reason why I love Mustang is uh, I was in Canada before for a few years. So uh -huh. I tried all the diff different cars. I had a uh, Nissan 350 before, 315 mm. Z. have the Mercedes SLK 155 AMG, those cars. But uh, I. I I never tried an American car, and uh, when I came back to China, kind of I I feel like I should have the American car here to to be like a, you know a muscle car, which is more classic, and I just want to try the Mustang. That's the mm. reason. Mm. Uh, I used to stay in the United States. I study. There, I graduated from Kaliki Mellon. Uh, when I when I when I was a graduate student, uh, my dream car is a Mustang, but I cannot afford that car at that time. So after the graduation, I bought a second used car, BMW three, and then come come back to China uh, in two thousand sixteen. I I know this club from Xun. Uh, Chris Chris knows him. And uh, he introduced me. He has a source to bought this this car. So I love this car. I always, you know, I'm always dreaming have, having one. The first time I know Mustang is from the movie. You know, it's kind of fantasy movie. And uh, in 2016, which, suddenly, which mm -hmm. movie are you talking about, David? Uh, it's an old Mustang that. It, I I don't know the movie, the English name. I don't know the English name of that movie. That Mustang has a brass knight 
I think it's very famous, you know. In the front of that car, it has a red light that can like bling bling with your breath. It was an American movie. Yeah, let me check. I I know that movie. It's very famous in the U.S. Ah,、huh. that's interesting because the reason I fell in love with Mustangs is because of movies too. The Bullet Must. You、oh, ever、really? see the Bullet? The Bullet movie. It was. I think it's a '68、uh, fastback, a Highland Green Steve McQueen movie. I think it was made in the the '70s. Have you guys seen that film, The Bullet? No. The movie's name <laughs> is Midnight Rider. You know that. Midnight Rider. Midnight Rider. No, I haven't seen that one. So, growing up, Mustangs were not your dream car, huh? Like, what was the dream car growing up for you guys? Like, what was like that 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 car that you felt like one day I'm gonna have? Yeah. If everything goes, if I become successful. My dream car is、uh, a Dodge Demon. Dodge Demon, Ameri- not, not American. The, it has a six point two liter supercharger, eight hundred、mm-hmm. horsepower. That's my dream car. <laughs> Chris is a muscle guy. Yeah, eight hundred horsepower. I know you don't. Do you need all that horsepower? Do you really need that? No, actually not. But、uh, when you need to stamp on gas, you have that power. You can, you know, just like you drive the car in the movie. You can. <laughs> So everybody <laughs> behind you, which、yeah. is good. Yeah. And so, so yeah, the reason why I love love muscle car is also partially because of I watched you know Fast and the Furious series movie. <laughs> That's、uh, one reason why I、nice. love muscle car. Nice. So you, so you want to be、okay. Dom Toretto? You want to be Dominic Toretto? You want to drive a muscle car? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just a gingy. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to be myself, but、uh, you know, <laughs> to have some of you guys' style. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey, how is it going over there, guys? Like everybody in America is kind of wondering. Like you guys, you guys aren't locked down anymore. America is still kind of going through the lockdown. To be honest with you, you know we're really confused. You know, and you guys already kind of went through it. Do you guys have any suggestions or like how did? How did you guys stay positive? Because when, when you know, I think the reason we wanted to talk to you because not only do you guys love cars and you guys are cool car dudes, but your attitude is like so positive. And I'm wondering, like, what advice do you have for us out here? Because man, we're going crazy, guys. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the you know the the COVID nineteen in Wuhan.、Uh, at the very beginning. Of this disaster、uh, at the end of 2019, you know, there are some rumors, maybe rumors or some news.、Uh, on our WeChat group, in our WeChat group, says that some kind of virus is very similar with SARS.、Uh, we should we should wear masks,、uh, but nobody take a serious take that advance seriously. So. Uh, I think it's kind of terrible when I, you know, remind that experience.、Uh, on January twenty second, I left Wuhan. You know, the the, the it, it is Chinese Spring Festival, so we go back to our hometown to celebrate this festival. On January twenty second, I left from Wuhan. I go back to Anshu. It's another. Small city in Hubei province. So on the next day, Wuhan shut down. I'm kind of lucky guy. You son asked me how can I stay positive during this period. I think you know I don't have much time to stay with my family, and this disaster、uh, gave me a chance to stay with my family. I can stay at home with my mom and dad for like two months. I think that's great. We cook together. We watch TV together. I think, yeah, it's it's okay. You know, I left home for nearly ten years, and I, when I come back, I usually stay for only two or three days. And、uh, this virus gave me a break. I can stay at home for like two months. I think that's the reason 
I can insist here. And right now I come back, I came, I came back to Wuhan on March. Mm. Uh, I, I go to my company and I work as usual as before. Uh, we are wearing masks and we, you know, dis disinfected every, every object like computers, chairs, machines, air conditioners, uh, every day, maybe uh, three times a day. So it's kind of routine here right now. I, I feel safe. And uh, to be frank with you, there are like half million people attested in Wuhan. Only 500 guys are told, uh, recognized as uh, patient. You know, they are patient without characteristics. They don't have a fever, they don't cough, uh -huh. but they, they are carrying the virus. Only 500 people among half million. So I mm. think we are safe right now. Yeah. Wow. So the Thank good you. news are coming so we can stay positive. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I mean, to focus okay. on family and being able to spend time with our family. That's something yeah. I've been also focusing on is that it's rare that we get to, you know, spend so much time together. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. But I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, really. Okay. What about you, Chris? What do you have to share? From the beginning to now, I'm always staying in Wuhan. So mm. I'm going to talk about what I feel and uh, what happened. So... Uh, there's a rumor in the beginning of January, which we heard a lot of people saying that right now, the flu is very strong outside. There's a flu. This year, a lot of people catch flu. So be careful. So that's what we, uh, you know, we discussed in January. And then after 10 days or 15 days, then the news say that there is a new virus, you know, spreading in Wuhan right now. We have to, the whole city has, has to be locked down. We do have like 10 million people living in Wuhan. So like wow. everyone has to stay home because this virus is uh, a new virus. So it's uh, the way it spread and um, the um, symptoms kind of cause it's all unknown it's it's still uncertain so it's very dangerous to stay mm. home and that's what happened in um, january 20th mm -hmm. and uh, you know the whole city is like dead at that moment all the business shut down like everybody going go back home there's nothing on the street it's like, just like in the movie, it's like, <laughs> it's never happened in, in century. And now it's happened in, beside, beside me, it's just like in the movie, you know, a big disaster yeah. here. Uh, so, um, so I stay home for already two months and I barely go out. Mm, I do have sometimes to order some food through internet, so I will mm. pick it up in my um, in our community. They have a, a place everybody goes there to, to pick up the food, to pick up all the deliveries. So um, right now the situation is getting a little a little bit better, and uh, so right now uh, we can go out, but still we we should wear mask. It's because this disease, as we know, it's, it can spread in without any symptoms. Right. So people, they are sick, but they don't have any symptoms. So they don't know they are sick. They still can spread right. in this, which is way, way different than SARS. Because the SARS, you can spread the disease when you have the symptom. Or the cold, you, are, you have the fever. But for this, it's like, thing to compare with that, it's like 10 times more ability to spread itself than SARS. So it's very, uh, very bad virus. 
have you had anybody affected by the COVID nineteen in your in your friends or family? One of one of my、uh, one of my auntie, she、oh. got this, as I know, and、uh, yeah. I had a supplier.、Fighting. I had a supplier、uh, of my company. He got that. I see.、Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, all right. Well, hey guys, thanks for sharing what's going on over there. So I want to get to the fun stuff, man. You guys didn't bring Mustangs, but you guys did bring two really cool cars that happen to be in Wuhan.、Um, I want to start with David. <laughs> 